actually a lot harder than I was expecting. Oh, now it gets scary. Look at that. One mistake, you're dead. Take your time. Whoa, we're so high up already. <laughs> wow. Damn. That is pretty incredible. exploring another province in the Isan region of Thailand. We are in Bungan, which is the newest province to join Thailand. And what I mean by that is that it was only in 2011 that Bungan became its own province. It used to belong to a bigger province called Nong Kai. So we are here today because there are lots of wonderful things to explore in this province and also one of the most unusual temples. And this is the entrance to Wat Phu Thok. Look at that. Yeah, even this is weird. We've never seen any, any structure quite like this in Thailand. It's like half shady and the bottom half is a cave. It's kind of a small replica of what we're going to expect up top, up there, yeah. because that's actually where the main temple is. Mm -hmm. The thing is, we have been here before, many, many years ago, but I was so scared last time. We didn't really get to explore the top because you have to walk around the limestone cliff on this man-made wooden plank. Wooden I feel bridge. like it was like a barely put together <laughs> yeah. wooden plank. Yeah. <laughs> We'll see if they maybe have uh, renovated it a little mm -hmm. bit. That would, that would probably be uh, a lot better. <laughs> if not, that's fine. <laughs> I'm here to conquer my fear, so I'm ready. It seems that there is a little bit of a hike to get up to the temple. And this is the entrance to it, isn't it? It's not a little bit of a hike. No? It's a lot of a hike. Really? <laughs> it's so steep. <laughs> <laughs> well, we only have one bottle of water with us. So uh, let's hope uh, we make it up there okay. So look at this map. So there are seven levels total and each level has its own purpose. Some level is for meditation. Some has a lot of Buddha statues. It was built in the year 2527, a year before I was born. I was oh. born in 2528. Staircase to level one. Doesn't this place kind of give you the feeling of you're in like Flintstone land? Yes. Like all the kind of wooden structures and that clay color. Reddish color. Yeah, decorations. Now I see what you meant by it's not a little hike. Oh my god. The heat is killing me. I'm level three now. Oh good. Only four more to go. Is it difficult or are we out of shape? I think it's a combination of both. <laughs> There's monkeys. You didn't tell me there are monkeys here. One, two, three, four, five, six, oh, seven. They're coming. Seven monkeys. Oh, majority of them are babies. Look. Are you still scared of them? They seem pretty. Oh, the big one's coming. Sadika. <laughs> oh, oh no. <laughs> you lift up your hands and he thought you were about to hit him. <laughs> I'll, let, I'll let him go first. Left or right? This is actually a lot harder than I was expecting. The climb is quite steep uphill and we really have to be careful on the wooden planks because the size is not the same, like it's different heights and the planks are quite small, quite slim. You have to be careful. 
when you're walking up here. It's like I showered already. This is absolutely insane. After all the years we live in Thailand, somehow today is one of the hottest day we ever experienced. <laughs> I know, we've done the steep climb, remember, in uh, Lampang, up to that temple in the mountains? Yeah. And that was even longer. It's supposed to be harder. But this is really killing us. I think it is the Isan heat. Mm -hmm. These feel pretty stable. Yeah, this one is not bad. Yeah. I think they fixed the path. It feels pretty sturdy. I remember there were holes and kind of like chopped up pieces everywhere before, but no, these are nice and sturdy. See, if it's like this all the way, I'm not scared. It's hard not to like say. last time. Yeah, hard to say if it's all like this. <laughs> but look at this side. Oh, now, now it gets scary. Look at that. One mistake. You're dead. We found the source. Yeah, these were the old bridges. Yeah, they look much more dated. It was good, They're, they changed it. Hello. <laughs> Are you coming? Okay. <laughs> this part is a bit scary. It's very scary, this path. I just had to pass two people and they chose the side with the rocks. So I had to go on the side oh, no. <laughs> on the outside. <laughs> okay, this part I don't like. You can do it. You can even tell these planks are the darker color, are like a more old. Sturdy enough but not strong enough to hold on to it. No. No, look at that. No, 100% no. <laughs> you cannot hold on to it. See, this is what I'm talking about. This, this, one's, <laughs> this one's loose. <laughs> Did you say this was limestone? Yeah. It's pretty crazy. It has that Grand Canyon color to it, doesn't it? And then you can see all the different layers on the rocks and lots of loose small pieces of rocks. That's pretty scary. They say some part you can see is almost like snake-like pattern. Oh, like okay. the Naga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, look at that. That part looks kind of snake-like, doesn't it? Like the roughness of it, but the curve shape. And look at how they build the bridge. I know, but this is insane. Thinking that we're stepping on something that looks like that right now, that does <laughs> not look safe at all. I wasn't scared until I saw that. Did you see that lake over there? Mm-hmm. You think it's a lake? A reservoir, maybe? Looks like a reservoir. Oh, oh don't touch yeah. it. it. There's a wire on it. But look at this. I can move it with one finger. Yeah, don't get too close there. <laughs> you see that? Look at all the beehives. <gasps> All of them, oh. this whole part. Do you think it's active? Yes, you can see the bees. Okay, can we not go this way? No, no, they, they won't bother us. There's, there's already a bee right there. Yeah, but they won't bother us. We just slowly walk past it. I'm allergic to bee, bee sting. Hello. <laughs> I'm allergic to bee sting. They won't, they won't attack you. I think what Note finds scary and what I find scary is completely different. He thinks the path is scary, the loose planks are scary, but I think that hidden Buddha and the bees are pretty scary. <laughs> Whoa, that's crazy. Now it's like we're walking on the Naga. That's so crazy. Look at the structure of the 
the mountain across from us. That's what it probably used to look like. So they had to build around it, around the mountain. Why did they come up with this crazy idea? Like, I wonder if this mountain is situated in like a holy place or something that they needed to build a temple on top. So interesting. I think this is it, babe. Yeah. We can't go up anymore. Yeah. Unless we came the wrong way, but... It's okay. I think we see the view of Bungan from here. Beautiful view. Let's go down. Let's go down and get some get something to drink. Before it gets dark. Yeah. Oh, good job, babe. We did it. Did it. Yes. Hello, Cap. Not this sponsored. Is, well, this is not sponsored, but this is sponsored. Oh. This will save my life. This is a uh, electrolyte. Mm -hmm. oh. That tastes so good. I usually so find refreshing. this way too sweet, but right now I don't find it sweet at all. I think I just need the sugar, sugar and the salt. Let's go find something to eat by the reservoir. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. And just cool down a bit before we go and check in into our hotel near the three whale rocks where we're gonna go early in the morning tomorrow. It won't be as bad. Yeah, it'll be really nice and super epic. Mm -hmm. because things will be nice and lush and green. Or will the rocks be slippery? Maybe. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. So yesterday we found a hotel that is pretty close to the Three Whale Rocks, which is a very um, famous viewpoint here in Bungan. It's the main reason why we are here. <laughs> We've seen this um, on Facebook, on Instagram multiple times, and we really want to come and see these rocks. Um, and because you've got to take a truck to go up to see it, you cannot just drive up. We decided to stay close to here and hop on a truck early this morning. So right now it's only eight o'clock. Not um, that many people, yeah. but there's also uh, not many trucks around. Do you know where we need to go? Oh, you have to register first. Oh. <laughs> he said that your tie is really good. Yeah. Where do you think? I get that all the time. So he probably thinks we're Chinese, both mm -hmm. of us. Okay, so here's the entrance fee. We got the ticket, 20 each for the entrance and 500 for the truck. Mm. But we have someone joining us. So we'll be splitting it three ways. What we call now I know why we have to park our truck down there. Because it's so steep. Huh? He says that if uh, people don't know how to drive, it would be really difficult, right? Yeah. Oh, look at this. This is beautiful. It's like a snake. So we don't really know the sequence of where we are going. Um, he's just going to take us to all the different viewpoints, unless we say we want to skip any of them. And because you're going to be sharing a truck with other people, then you decide between yourselves how long you want to stay at a place and um, which viewpoints that you want to go to. Oh, 
We're so high up already. This is it, babe. I don't see the wheel though. We have I been waiting wheel. for so long to come here. And we're finally here. So it said to always stay in the path. You see the lines yeah. that they set on each side. And don't try to lean on the side to have a look. Okay. You ready? Mm -hmm. I feel like it's not going to be like, oh my god, you know, when you walk out. But once you see it from above, it's going to be like, oh my god. I don't know. I think it's gonna be oh my god. You think so? <laughs> We're walking on top of Daddy Wheel. Whoa, okay. This is wow. Okay, this is wow. <laughs> wow. Damn. That is pretty incredible. Finally on top of the whale. This is crazy. And it's as beautiful as the photo we saw. Yeah. It's so peaceful too up here. My leg just got kind of shaky. <laughs> we'll move back a bit. Generally speaking, I am not afraid of heights. Like walking down here, I wasn't scared at all. But once you stay at the frontier long enough, you start to feel a little bit lightheaded mm -hmm. and you can almost imagine like oops if i trip <laughs> and you roll down you, you get that feeling and i think that's what freaks me out when you start imagining things so i think if you want to stay here longer and don't be so scared you just have to enjoy the view <laughs> don't think of those like worst case scenarios because that that definitely does make me a bit lightheaded. Yeah. Sitting down helps though, you feel more grounded. When we were downstairs, I saw photos of people with broomsticks jumping up here taking photos. But I don't see broomsticks here. They brought their own props. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Or maybe we had to ask the truck driver to, uh, can we use the broomsticks that are in the truck? Because <laughs> they do this jumping shot, so it looks like they're floating in the air. Yeah, like Harry Potter style. <laughs> they are here! We found it! <laughs> we need to do one! Yeah? Yeah, we have to. one, <laughs> Okay, how am I? The song, so. Yeah, hot Americano. Thank you, my lady. <laughs> my lady, who are you? <laughs> that was nice. That was a perfect morning and a perfect ending to our Thailand trip. Mm -hmm. This series. Yeah, the road trip series. Mm -hmm. And I'm so glad that we, uh, even though we had a rough start with Rocket, we were able to end this road trip series with Rocket. So I think that's kind of full circle. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed exploring Bungan with us. It is also our first time really getting to see, you know, some of the wonders of this province. And I think they are so unique and it's not very busy yet with tourists it was quite lovely so if you come this way for some reason you are around <laughs> Bungan, then you should come and visit as always thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day we will see you in the next series bye bye, bye, -bye.